Still have a news desk. Thanks for, thanks for staying with us. Now, over 500 girls of the Wulugu Senior High School in the Northeast region have been evacuated from their dormitory block following the poor state of the building. The students were evacuated by the school authorities for fear of the dilapidated building collapsing on them. They've since been moved to the school dining hall, which has no ventilation, raising fears of possible outbreak of the deadly cerebrospinal meningitis in the school. There's more in the following report by Ilyasu Tanko. We are really suffering in our dormitories because a room that is occupied with five beds, that's supposed to occupy with 10 students, is occupying with 15 or 16 of them, which makes, them, which makes it difficult for us in the dormitory. And more to the point, even some of our colleagues have moved to the dining hall due to lack of accommodation, that is to accommodate us. We have not been seeing any changes. So we are pleading on behalf of the school for the government to look upon us and help us do uh, concerning our dormitories and the dining hall too. At least I can just say that we don't even have toilet facilities in the school because almost all the boarding house students are going into the bush whether it is raining season or dry season they are going into the bush to attend to nature calls and in fact the girls are just throwing the used pass everywhere anywhere on campus anywhere they found themselves especially in the bush side which is very dangerous because i am worried if some ritualists ritualists may come over there and gather them and go and do something bad to my dear girls which will make them barren when they are when they get married or whatever so we would like the government to help us in all these things which will help improve our lives as students if you look at the boys dormitories they will face a lot of problems even there have been a situation where some masters or uh, people bring their children for school and then they have sent them back to because of the nature of the environment and then the way the dormitory is constructed. It has built in that was since the year the school was introduced and up to date, even plastering, plastering itself, it has not been plastered. So we are just appealing to the government to come to our aid. And then more to the point, when it comes to toilet facilities, uh, we just, we are still appealing. Government should come to our aid. Our dining hall, let me just say for now, we don't have dining hall because our dining hall have been taken over as uh, dormitory for girls.